you may ask yourself, what's the difference between this LED kit and any other LED kit? Well, I'll show you. Check this out. What's up y'all? Trey B. Dippin, in the building. You know what time it is. So today, we got a special video, man. Um, today, I'm going to be doing a review on some LED bulbs by a company named Bosler. So, uh, the good boys over at Bosler sent me these LEDs, um, LED headlights, and uh, we're gonna be unboxing them and installing them and doing a review. So, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Trey B. Dippin. For those of you who are, who are subscribers, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to install these Bosler LED headlight bulbs in your 92 to 96 Honda Prelude. With that being said, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So, I got the box right here. Nicely packaged, very professional. We're going to open it up and uh, see how... It, you know, see what's inside. All right, so here you go. The Bosler LED headlight kit. So let's go ahead and open the box and see what we have. Very nice box, very nicely packaged. The Bosler uh, product manual. If we need to, we'll go into this. I doubt we'll need to. Um, And we have the Bosler LED bulbs. So straight out of the box, I mean, they look really good so far. Uh, the one thing that I've noticed right off the gate that I um, haven't experienced with other LED bulbs is that it actually has a glass housing around the LED bulb. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, okay, actually no. Now I'm seeing now it says remove glass. So I'm guessing this is part of the packaging to protect it so you are supposed to remove this glass but that's a nice feature so you know that your stuff is going to come in it's not going to be damaged so that's nice so it also comes with this uh, I'm assuming it's a ballast um, it's plug and play one goes into the LED bulb and the other one goes into the socket for the uh, for the headlight harness pretty simple I know usually when LED kits LED bulbs come with ballast I know that they're usually higher quality, so that's everything I'm seeing so far is nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install these in one side and I have some LEDs currently installed and I'm going to compare the two. So let's get to it. What I have here is a, a Prelude headlight. Now um, you don't have to take the headlight out to do this install. I just finished painting the car so I'm doing this um, in between. Um, so I already had the headlights out from from auto flex in my car so but it's a good it's good for for me to be able to show you up close and personal on how to do it so um these are if you have a stock prelude um, the bulbs are gonna be a different size but because I have the depots um, I have a video on this one as well on um, how I customize these I'll put that in link in the description below as well um, but uh, these have different size bulbs so if you do have stock headlights um, this is gonna be a little different so um, basically on the back it's pretty simple um, like I said all right I do already have some LEDs that I had previously installed um, so basically there's a clip hopefully you'll be able to see this but if you look right here this little bar this is actually part of the clip so to remove the bulb you push this in and to the left in and to the left now it may be easier to do it with a screwdriver maybe not but once you get the uh, clip undone and you get that moved to the left um, the bulb comes right out and then obviously you're going to want to disconnect the bulb from your harness that's just as easy as uh, just pulling it apart just be careful I'm going to unplug that and then once you get that clip, like I said, you're just going to pull it out. 
All right, so once you pull the bulb out, um, you're gonna want to grab your new bulb, and like I said, with these particular LEDs from Bosler, um, you are gonna have to remove the protective glass. Don't forget to do that. Just twist it off. Easy at one, two, three. You don't, you won't need this anymore. Um, then, like I said, we're just gonna put the new bulb in, um, and this is the clip. With these LEDs, because of how thick the base is, um, a lot of times you're not going to be able to just put it in there with the clip um, already in the slot. You're going to kind of have to put the clip over and then install it all at the same time. If that doesn't make sense, hopefully when I show you what I'm doing, it may make sense. But basically, the clip that holds the uh, bulb in place, you're going to have to take that off from inside of the housing and install it simultaneously with the bulb. So once you get the, the bulb in and it's secured, um, basically the next step is going to be plugging the, the LED ballast in that I showed you earlier. So that's as simple as plugging it in and it does have a cap that you come and you screw on the cap screws on and this is to prevent it from coming loose now this ballast has the other end that connects directly into the harness for the headlight that's as easy as just plugging it in keep in mind that if the if the uh, for some reason the bulb doesn't turn on you just want to switch this orientation just flip it but um, if you look closely you can actually see the red wire on this side um, through the uh, plastic so that helped me line it up so red and red on the same side but like I said if you get it wrong just flip the orientation and that's pretty much it the install is complete so now um, I'm gonna reinstall this headlight and compare the Bosler one to the current one I have in the other headlight okay so uh, currently the uh, Bosler bulb is on the left side of your screen and the uh, current LED is on the right side of your screen um, now that should be pretty easy to tell apart mainly because the current ones I have in there are I believe a 6k to 8k it does have a bluish tint to it so that may be 8k bulbs I believe and the um, Bosler bulbs are uh, 6K, should be a true white. So uh, let's turn them on and see what they look like. Okay, so with the camera shining directly on the headlights, you can't really, really see a difference in person. Um, you do, you do, uh, you can tell that the ones on the current ones that are on the right hand side are blue, uh, like have a bluish tint, and then the Bosler ones are more like a true white. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what it looks like against the wall and then uh, we'll take it from there. Alright, so as you can see, let me turn the lights off. You can actually see uh, that the one on the left is my current LED and the one on the right is the new uh, Bosler. Now, you may ask yourself, what's the difference between this LED kit and any other LED kit? Well, I'll show you. Check this out. This one bulb has multiple functions so right now it's on white one click off one click on that's white and yellow another quick uh, click that's yellow one more quick click flashing yellow this is all from the same bulb that's crazy one more quick click, back to white. I, I'll be honest with you, I have never seen this before. 
not in one not in one LED bulb. That's that's just insane. Hey, so there you have it, man. Like I said, these lights are they're I mean genuinely better than the ones I had and better than I think any of the LEDs or even HIDs that I've ever had. Um that's just my opinion. Um just I've been since the last clip I've driven it a few times and it's definitely way brighter. It shines farther and I can see ten times better. So uh, if you guys are interested in getting some of these Basla LED headlight bulbs, I definitely, definitely recommend it. Uh, scroll down in the description. I'll have a link directly uh, to where you can get them. Now the ones, they have three different kinds. They have the, uh, the Basla One Bullet, which is the more affordable one. Um, then there's the one that you saw in this video today. The four in one is a little more expensive. And then the third one's actually not released yet. It's like a uh, RGB uh, LED bulb. So instead of switching between the yellow and the blinking yellow, it changes like green and some other colors um, along with the standard 6.5K. Uh, um, so, but yeah, with that being said, um, definitely if you in need of some brighter headlight bulbs, I definitely recommend it. Um, Let's go with the first trade B dipping um, scale on one to ten. I give the Basler four in one LED bulb a ten out of ten. You feel me? Not disappointed in the least bit. Everything from the packaging to the installation, all the way to actually, uh, you know, using the bulbs in real time. Great. Uh, I definitely recommend it. But with that being said, I hope you liked the video. Uh, hit that thumbs up button. Um, and if you're new, you see that right there? Yeah, that's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that, and I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching you.